Saturday night, the Golden Hurricane trying to keep their bowl hopes alive as they take on Tulane in New Orleans. All the details next on the Philip Montgomery Show. Philip Montgomery Show, brought to you by St. Francis Health System, by Riversbury Casino, by Pepsi. Now your host, Bruce Howard. Hello again, everybody, and welcome to the Philip Montgomery Show. I'm Bruce Howard with the Golden Hurricane taking on Tulane here in New Orleans on Saturday. They needed the win to get to four and six, and they came up with it. It was a crazy affair. TU dominated the game throughout with their defense, but a late surge by Tulane tied it. However, Tulsa won it in overtime. The final was 20 to 13. We'll have the lead up to the game and first half highlights next on the Philip Montgomery Show. American. This one's for every sports fan who just spent the entire game explaining to someone the entire game. You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. The mission of St. Francis Health System to extend the presence and healing ministry of Christ means not only being there for the health care needs of individuals, but also making a positive impact in the communities we serve. Offering support through thousands of jobs and through causes that unite us and promote health and wellness for all. We show our gratitude for the opportunity to serve by living our mission every day. St. Francis Health System. Healthcare for life. We are taking winning to a whole new level during the BMW Xtreme X3 giveaway at River Spirit Casino Resort. We are going the extra mile to bring you not just one, but two back-to-back -back BMW giveaways, November 20th and the 27th. Simply earn entries daily and you could be on the road to non-stop adventure in the ultimate BMW sports activity vehicle. So get ready to find your Xtreme in an extraordinary BMW X3 only at River Spirit Casino Resort. Click now to Burgers, better with Pepsi. <sighs> Saturday was the 18th all-time meeting between the University of Tulsa and Tulane, with the Hurricane leading the series 12 to five. Here's the lead up to the game, and then first half highlights, my broadcast partner, Rick Corey, and head coach, Philip Montgomery. Gentlemen. All right, thanks, Bruce. All right, Coach, coming to New Orleans has never been easy. It's always been a kind of a strange vibe down here. And you had a team that was 1-8 and eight, but dangerous. What did they do well coming in? Well, they were playing really good run defense. You know, uh, they'd done some good things in coverage. But, you know, from an offensive standpoint, people had not really been able to really take advantage of some of the run things that they had. So we knew that was going to be a factor. We had to find some ways to get that rolling. And then you look at them offensively, they got weapons. Both the running backs are really good players. The quarterback, he's back healthy again. You know, he's listed as a freshman, but he's really not. He's a guy that can extend plays, make plays with his feet, got the arm to do everything, and they got weapons on the outside. So it was not the record what you saw on tape. Right. It was a team that was trending, getting better, and they've gone through it so much with the hurricane being displaced, all of that. And I think they're starting to come together, and you look at what they've done over the last couple of weeks, Really, really tight ball games. We think maybe it's voodoo, but whatever it is in New Orleans, it always stands for some very unusual games. Let's get the first half highlights of Tulsa and Tulane. 
and 10 from Tulsa's 25-yard line, and the handoff goes to Brooks, and he burrows up the middle, breaks a tackle, 30, 35, 40. He gets it near the 45-yard line, and on first down, Tulsa gets a 19-yard gain. Gunbrin has the snap, fake handoff, quick throw, left side caught by Santana, wrestled out of bounds at about the 48. Johnson, Jones is to the left out of the shotgun. Brin has the snap and hands it off, and Brooks plugging up the middle. He is able to charge forward across the 30, maybe to the 28. 28. They bring in a couple of Anderson, Steven Anderson to run the ball and Abe Anderson to block for him. Abe, of course, is one of those H-backs. And Braxton, a quarterback. So Brandon Braxton, the quarterback, with his first action, the freshman, he'll take a snap out of the shotgun on fourth down. He takes it, he runs it off the right side, and he is near and has the first down. Right boundary bounced out of bounds inside the 20 at about the 16-yard uh, line. We'll see where they spot it down. That's the wide side of the field. Third down and five from the 10. Motion to the right by Brooks. Out of the shotgun, Bryn has the snap. Drops back to pass, throws. Naylor catches it and lunges into the end zone. Touchdown, Tulsa. As Naylor gets to the goal line, turns his shoulders, receives the pass, catches it, and is in. TU leads six to nothing on the first drive of the ball game. Nine minutes to go, first quarter. Michael Pratt in the offense of Tulane. And the handoff goes to the left side, and all of a sudden, oh Carroll is just buried, buried by none other than Jackson player. 6.45 to go, first quarter, Tulsa 7, Tulane nothing. Their second possession now for the Hurricane. Here's the snap, and the handoff goes. Watkins, big hole up the middle, 35 to the 40, angling left, 45 to the 50, and then knocked down, and just a saving tackle by Macon Clark, or he's gone. Steps up, he rolls to the left, he's gonna run it to the 45, to the 40, to the 35, and dives forward to the 31. He's 12 of 13 on the season. Snap is back, the ball is down, here's the kick on the way, and it is good. And a timeout, 2.42 to go, first quarter. University of Tulsa has scored on both of their possessions. The quarterback, Pratt, who is under center on third down and three. They fake the toss sweep, and then they hand it off to Carroll, and Carroll gets just buried back there in a terrific play by Anderson at the 30. They lost two on the play, and now it's fourth down and five. Tolls out of the shotgun. Pratt has it and hands it off right side Carroll. Carroll has nothing but white jerseys and gets hammered at about the 13 for a loss of a couple. Wright was there for TU. Good. Merrick Glover. Snap is high, he handles it, he puts the ball down. Here's the kick on the way, it has the distance, and it is true. So Tulane gets on the board with 9.26 remaining in the second quarter, and we have a timeout. Good situation for them if they can drive here. 42-yard punt for Lachlan Wilson on first down, handoff, Spears right side, he breaks a tackle, angling right to the 45, to the 40, 35, and out to the far boundary at about the 31. First down to 10 at the 31, handoff right side once again by Spears, and this time Dorian Hopkins blows it up. He didn't make the tackle, but he allowed everybody else to make the tackle for a loss of two or three. It'll be a 48-yarder from the right hash mark out of the hold of right, the punter, on fourth and 10. Snap back, the ball is down. Here's the kick on the way, and it is to the right. No good. And it looked like it might have even been short. But the wind certainly affected it. And out of the shotgun, Bryn has the snap and drops back to pass. He steps up, throws over the middle, and right on his knees, Santana makes the catch at the 47-yard line for a first down for Tulsa. An eight for TU, just shy of midfield. Here's the snap, back to pass. Bryn has time, throws over the middle, and it's a catch by Malachi Jones at the 35-yard line. That's a gain of 16, and Jones with just his second catch of the year. Out of the hold of Cannon Montgomery. Snapper is Higuera. Snap it back is a good one. The hold is a good one. The kick on the way it has the distance and it is good he knocked it through from 48 and the hurricane now with a 13 to 3 lead with 30 seconds to go in the first half of play So that 48-yard field goal by Zach Long gives Tulsa a 10-point lead at halftime. In a moment, we'll be back to talk halftime adjustments and get you to second half highlights on the Philip Montgomery show.
lock in. This one's for a service fan who just spent the entire game explaining to some isn't the entire game. game. You've compromised enough. A Fipsy Zero Sugar. The mission of St. Francis Health System to extend the presence and healing ministry of Christ means not only being there for the health care needs of individuals, but also making a positive impact in the communities we serve. Offering support through thousands of jobs and through causes that unite us and promote health and wellness for all. We show our gratitude for the opportunity to serve by living our mission every day. St. Francis Health System. Healthcare for life. Burgers, better with Pepsi. We are taking winning to a whole new level during the BMW Xtreme X3 giveaway at River Spirit Casino Resort. We are going the extra mile to bring you not just one, but two back-to-back -back BMW giveaways, November 20th and the 27th. Simply earn entries daily and you could be on the road to non-stop adventure in the ultimate BMW sports activity vehicle. So get ready to find your Xtreme in an extraordinary BMW X3, only at River Spirit Casino Resort. Click now to On Saturday, TU led at halftime by a score of 13-3. to Now let's go to Rick Corey and head coach Philip Montgomery and second half highlights, guys. All right, coach, at the half, you've got a nice lead. I mean, it's not a lot of points, but it feels like a lot the way the game's gone. Why is your defense playing so well? What are you doing good there? Well, I mean, I thought we did a really good job stopping the run and, and trying to make them one-dimensional. And we got off the field on third down. We played really good third down defense, whether that was third and long or third and short played really good third down defense. I think at that point, I don't know if they can, had they gotten a first down in third down situations, maybe one. Yeah, they had one in the second quarter. Right. Right. So uh, that was such a huge key because I think we were keeping them behind the chains, keeping them off of their running game and, and putting them in tough situations. All right, this first drive of the third period is going to be a big one. What are you guys talking about adjustment wise? Well, you know, really the first quarter and a half, I, I thought we really played well offensively. Uh, we were doing some good things, seeing some things. They started doing a couple of other new things to us. Uh, you come back out in the second half, they went more to that and, and tried to really sell out in some areas. And so uh, they took some chances. We needed to convert in some certain situations. We had some things there that we didn't take advantage of, but things we got to continue to learn. And then more importantly, you know, late, you know, we got to take care of the football. All right, so make sure you have your bathroom break before we get toward the end of this one. Let's get to second half and overtime highlights, Tulsa and Tulane. We're out there right now. These teams will have to adjust. Ball at the 40-yard line, first and 10 for Tulane, and the handoff goes left side. Carroll. Carroll gets hit right in the hole and driven back at the left hash mark. Boy, that was a great fit by Johansi Burnett. One receiver to the left, Jones. Three receivers near side right. Back to pass, Bryn. Bryn throws over the middle. It's a dart. It's caught by Montgomery. 50, 45, 40. Left side, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10. And he's tripped up at the nine-yard line. Oh, what a pass. He zipped that over the middle. And Cannon Montgomery with the longest pass play in his career. Two to the right. Now one of those guys, Johnson, in motion. And the handoff goes. Brooks up the middle. Brooks has hit at the five and driven back. And now the ball is loose, it's fumbled, and Tulane, they say they have it. They do. At the nine-yard line, a fumble recovered by Tulane. Fake handoff, deep drop, Bryn. Bryn looking over the middle, throws over the middle, and it is intercepted. Intercepted at the 40-yard line and down to the 34-yard line is Kevin Henry, his second interception of the season from the Tulsa 34. Here's the snap to Pratt, back to pass. Steps up, throws left side, and it is caught. And drive, diving forward is Wyatt, but he gets stopped short of the first down. And what a nice, nice tackle by Tyon Davis on the far boundary at the 26-yard line on third down and seven. The snap, Bryn, back to pass, throws high in the air, down the left boundary, and it is intercepted at the one-yard line on a great play by Kennedy. Kennedy intercepts it at the one. Now it is third down and eight from their 20-yard line. Out of the shotgun, Pratt has the snap, drops back to pass, looking over the middle, and again, he gets hit in the backfield, and he is stopped and sacked. At the 14-yard line, Tulsa's defensive line has been outstanding. And again, it's Devin Lamp with the play. 
Out of the shotgun, Pratt on second down, back to pass in the end zone again, throws over the middle, and it is caught on the run by Jackson. 30, 35, 40, 45 yard line, gets to midfield and in to Tulsa territory at the 48 yard line, six. So it's second and 10 from the 48 yard line of Tulsa, back to pass Pratt. Pratt looking over the middle, down the right side, a man is wide open, it's Watts, he catches it at the 10, five into the end zone, touchdown. Touchdown by Fat Watts, the junior from Richton, Mississippi. It's a 48-yarder, and Tulane is back in the ball game with 2.52 to play. It's 13-9. Glover will approach the ball. Here's the boot, and it is loose. It's still loose, and who gets it? There is a pileup on the far side. A Tulsa player tried to pick it up instead of just fall on it. At the 35-yard line, Tulane has it. Jackson, here's the snap, and they run it on a draw play up the middle, and a big gain. He gets it to the 40, 35-30. Right side, Spears, 25-20, knocked out of bounds inside the 10-yard line. He's out of bounds at the 7. Line, Spears in motion to the right. Pratt awaits the snap, has the snap, drops back to pass. He rolls to the left, rolls, throws near the end zone, and it is incomplete, dropped right at the goal line by Deuce Watts. Looked like he had it in his bread basket, but line Spears in motion to the right. Pratt awaits the snap, has the snap, drops back to pass. He rolls to the left, rolls, throws near the end zone, and it is incomplete. Dropped right at the goal line by Deuce Watts. Looked like he had it in his bread basket, but Merrick Glover to try and tie it. Snap back, ball down, kick on the way, and it is good, and Tulane has tied the game at 13. Bryn out of the shotgun awaits the snap. Again, they show blitz. Here's the snap, back to pass. Bryn, blitz coming, he throws over the middle, intercepted. It's picked off by Clark. Clark in the middle of the field at the 25. He gets hit and tackled, and Tulane has intercepted Davis Bryn, and they have it at the 25-yard line. Clark with the interception, his third. Snap is back, the ball is down, here's the kick, it's on the way, and it is no good. He punched it off to the right. Are you kidding me? The 15. Bryn has the snap and hands it off. Brooks angling off the left side, has a hold of the 10, to the 5, and into the end zone. Touchdown left pylon. Brooks on a 15-yard touchdown run, and Tulsa has scored to make it 19-13 here in overtime. And from the 25-yard line, three receivers out in the formation. Back to pass, Pratt. Pratt dancing around. He rolls to the right. He retreats. He retreats. He's back at his 40. He throws the ball high in the air toward the end zone, and it is knocked down. It's incomplete, and the Tulsa Golden Hurricane has defeated the Tulane Green Wave in a wild affair. TU wins 20 to 13. He had. What is true blue? It's true loyalty, supporting others with unwavering commitment. It's true innovation, thinking creatively and to make a difference. It's true, true, take risks, risks, and stand a step. Yeah, that's right. True, true, blue, 100, 100, and five year, five year, is the the true, true, adversity of Tulsa. The mission, the mission of St. Francis Health System to extend the healing ministry of Christ means not only being there for the health care needs of individuals, but also making a positive impact in the communities we serve, offering support through thousands of jobs and through causes that unite us and promote health and wellness for all. We show our gratitude for the opportunity to serve by living our mission every day. St. Francis Health System. Health care for life. We are taking winning to a whole new level during the BMW Xtreme X3 giveaway at River Spirit Casino Resort. We are going the extra mile to bring you not just one, but two back-to-back BMW giveaways, November 20th and the 27th. Simply earn entries daily and you could be on the road to non-stop adventure in the ultimate BMW sports activity vehicle. So get ready to find your Xtreme in an extraordinary BMW X3 only at River Spirit Casino Resort. Click now. To this one's for every sports fan who just spent the entire game explaining to someone the entire game. You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar.
Burgers, better with Pepsi. <sighs> Hurricane Rewind, a look back at the miracle on 11th Street with Jerry O. Here's TU Hall of Famer, Jerry Ostrowski. 30 years ago this week, we took on uh, Louisville at Skelly Stadium, and uh, I remember this game, another huge crowd, over 30,000 people here, a uh, great crowd, building the energy after that snow game and, and some of the other games we had earlier in the year. Uh, fan support was tremendous. We didn't like Louisville. Um, Howard Schnellenberger coached that team. Um, they were arrogant. They were uh, confident, and we didn't much like them. And uh, we knew we had to win this game. We had a chance to go to a bowl game. Bowl scouts were starting to come around. There was an interest in us. Maybe this Tulsa team's for real. And I remember all week long, that was, that was the message. That's what we wanted to do. We wanted to take control a little bit. We wanted to make them understand that you didn't come to Skelly and uh, you didn't say the things you said. You didn't do the things you did. And um, we went ahead and uh, took care of that game and got ourselves ball eligible. And um, that was the biggest thing. I think we came off the field that game, and it was one of those deals where at that point in time, we kind of knew outcomes before we walked on the field. Um, I know that sounds weird. Maybe that sounds arrogant of us. But we had a confidence about us, and we knew if we did what we were coached to do, uh, the outcomes would be how we wanted them to be. Because um, not only our offense is playing well, our defense was, was playing really, really well. And the thing about this game is this was a Louisville team that came in, had success uh, uh, the year before. They won a Fiesta Bowl, a tremendous success, and a resurgence under uh, Coach Howard Schnellenberger. Uh, one of the things they prided themselves on was intimidating uh, other teams and being more physical, and that didn't happen at Skelly this year. And uh, we took it to them, 140 to nothing, and uh, set ourselves up for a bowl game and uh, a good positive energy going into the last couple games of the season. Our thanks to Hall of Famer Jerry Ostrowski with his unique perspective on that team 30 years ago, and we'll look forward to another one next week. Hurricane winning over Tulane 20 to 13 in overtime. We'll have more on the Philip Montgomery Show in a moment. This one's for every sports fan who just spent the entire game explaining to someone the entire game. You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. What is true blue? It's true loyalty. Supporting others with unwavering commitment. It's true innovation and in creating create strategically to make a difference. It's true truth. Taking risks and adding up and for what for right. True true blue is a one in 25 legacy. True you at the Ever Uni of City. The mission of St. Helens' Health System to, ex to extend its in healing ministry of Christ means not only being there for the health care needs of individuals, but also making a positive impact in the communities we serve, offering support through thousands of jobs and through causes that unite us and promote health and wellness for all. We show our gratitude for the opportunity to serve by living our mission every day. St. Francis Health System. Healthcare for life. We are taking winning to a whole new level during the BMW Xtreme X3 giveaway at River Spirit Casino Resort. We are going the extra mile to bring you not just one, but two back-to-back -back BMW giveaways, November 20th and the 27th. Simply earn entries daily and you could be on the road to non-stop adventure in the ultimate BMW sports activity vehicle. So get ready to find your Xtreme in an extraordinary BMW X3 only at River Spirit Casino Resort. Click now to Burgers, better with Pepsi. <sighs> so, Coach, as I said to you in radio, had them all the way, right? I mean, <laughs> you had to be having having heart attacks and all, all kinds of yeah. weird things. I mean, they score, they miss the field goal, you got a chance to go to overtime. What are those emotions like right there? Well, I mean, it's a absolute roller coaster. And, and you felt like, honestly, with right under six minutes left to play, you got a 10 point lead and it's about eating the clock. It's about continuing to play good defense and it's about, you know, as you eat that clock, finish it with points, finish it with a touchdown. Uh, but you wanna just, 
get out of here with a good win because this is a, a difficult place to do that. All right, so in overtime, when you get the ball offensively, philosophy was to go do, I mean, get a touchdown, but how did you want to get there? What you want to do? Well, I mean, we, we wanted to be us, right? Find a couple of run lanes in there, try to convert some things, get, try to stay ahead of the chains when you do that. Um, big third down play there. I think we were third and six or so. Uh, Davis steps up in the pocket. Ezra's working back across the middle. Big catch for the first down. And then, you know, first play right after that on the first and 10. Got a good run scheme called. Offensive line does a really nice job right there. Shamari's got great vision, bounces that to the outside. And then just uh, green grass in front of him, has a nose for the end zone like Shamari does and found a way to get it in. And then your defense just did what they do. Well, they did. I mean, you know, in that situation, we got to come out and really be stout. I thought we did a good job with that. They tried a couple of different things in there, uh, but our defense was right on top of it. You know, they call the timeout. Now you're fourth and 10, I think is what it was. Uh, just a huge play, great momentum win for us. And uh, that was the whole point. Be one and zero. doesn't matter what it looks like or how it is, find a way to win. And you have to do that one more time at home against Temple and then take that on into get to SMU. But at least you have a chance and that's what you're playing for, right? Well, I mean, like I told our team, we're, we're in a, a playoff type atmosphere yeah. right now. It's about going one and zero each week. We've got a tough team with Temple coming to town. Senior night, need to play extremely well there, win that one, and then we'll work on the SMU after that, but Temple's first. As Coach said, senior night, your last chance to see this group. It's H.H. Chapman Stadium next Saturday night, Tulsa and Temple. All right, guys, thank you very much indeed. A big win for the Hurricane here on the road sets up a home date, the final home game of the year as Tulsa takes on Temple. Three o'clock is the kickoff time on Saturday at H.A. Chapman Stadium. Tickets are available at 918-631-GO-TU or TulsaHurricane.com. That'll wrap it up for our broadcast. We'll talk to you next week. For head coach Philip Montgomery, I'm Bruce Howard. So long. The Philip Montgomery Show has been brought to you by St. Francis Health System, by River Spirit Casino, and by Pepsi. This has been a presentation from Learfield.